Okay, thanks again for watching Shea Salon's video. I have been ordering like crazy lately. One of my other shipments that arrived was from Orchard Corset. So this is the box that came in. Very pretty. Looks like it comes with some instructions. This beautiful little congratulations card. Hopefully they're congratulating me on losing some weight. Okay. <laughs> uh, oh, and it's hand signed by Cherry. Very nice touch. Thank you, Cherry. So, this is the beautiful paper it came in. I had briefly, I was too excited. This came yesterday and I had to open it. I just had to. <laughs> I wanted the silver gray one so I can wear it outside my clothes at the salon. But, however, they were sold out. You girls better stop getting all my stuff. Um, so I ended up getting the maroon. This is how it looks. Again, they probably had this packaged differently. I opened this part, so this is the inside. This is the little flap. You see it's already kind of pre-opened, and that was to fit me and my beautiful little self. <laughs> so, so here it is. It's not heavy, but it has a good weight on it. I can definitely see what they mean about the double steel bars or something. This bar for the little things, this is like real metal. Real, real metal. So that's very interesting. Okay. This is, you see that? That's very, very good. I'll try to get some help putting this bad boy on and come back in a few minutes. <laughs> Okay, I'm back. Can you guys see my face shining? This is sweat. It is hard work. Nobody's told me this part before. Somebody didn't lied or they're not telling me the truth. It takes a whole village to put this bad boy on. Me and my husband had to help me put this thing on, okay? I had to lay on the bed, all the tricks. Now let me show you what this... You see this? I'm going to try to post... The original girl who I saw the video and that made me want to buy it because she was very full figured, even top heavy like myself. I'm doing no justice to Janet Jackson right now. She's very upset. Okay, here's the corset. Hopefully that helps. I have a little pooch right here. I can breathe. I am comfortable. Um, it's not, I have a very short torso, probably a lot shorter than the girl who I saw wearing it. To me, I look more bulky, shapeless, um, kind of boxy like a refrigerator. I don't know. I'm going to try to see what's going on. I'm going to give you guys some of my personal numbers. My bra size, especially with me picking out some of this weight, I'm a, originally a 38B. I can go into the CDs, but I'm about a 38 family. Because of the weight that I've picked up, I am wearing a 42D. So my cup size is a 42D. When I measured my waist, I'm a 38-inch waist. 
very hard to admit that I never weighed, um, weighed myself or measured myself since I've been picking up this weight. Don't get on any scales or anything. I've just been kind of, you know, like the rest of us, upset, not really wanting to shop or anything. Um, so I was also told on here, when you buy your corset to make it four to six inches smaller. So my corset size is a 34. So it's a size 34. They charged me two more dollars because it was a 34. The average size, I think it stops at 32 or something. I was trying to get a 32. Huh, try that. Okay, so me being a 38, I was trying to go all over and beyond and have six inches smaller. Because when I do make up my mind to lose weight, I do sweat very easily and I can lose the weight very fast. Skip a few meals, drink some water, and I'm all right. So I expected to slim down quickly and wanted to have as much room in the corset um, that I can have. So those are my stats, 38 inch waist, size 34 corset, 42D bra size. Um, some more numbers, hmm, I haven't weighed myself, my normal thick size, I'm a very thick even on the back side girl, um, my normal weight is about 150. I have 5'5 five five on my driver's license, people say I'm lying, okay, so I did on my last checkup find out I'm barely reach, reaching 5'1, I've spent the majority of my adult life as 4'11, so I thought that I was grown, but I'm, I'm about 5'1, shut up, sit down, <laughs> all y'all that's taller than me, leave me alone, so um, that's that, my normal weight is 150, I am a good 30 pounds or so over my normal size so I'm not I haven't weighed myself recently I'm not going to put my exact numbers out there yet I am going to be trying to go on a weight loss regimen and I'll be sharing that and posting that and hopefully you guys um, stick with me and help support me in that also so we all can be all cute okay but anyway those are my numbers 150 plus 30 something 51 38 size waist, um, 34 corset, 42D, and I'm 5'1". I'll post some pics of my previous weight and looks up until now. Um, I'm not going to put my age out there, but I'm a little over 35. I haven't really, they say when you when women turn 30, we become, you know, having a weight loss problem. I had no problem with my weight at the, in my 30s, okay, my early 30s. So about 35 and these last few couple years, I've been having a problem controlling my weight. Haven't done anything different. I've never really been an active person, um, tr you know, um, sports, none of that. I'm a girly girl. I don't do any of that. Okay, so I've been very blessed to always have a very, very flat stomach and very nice figure all my adult life, all my young life, and um, that's the problem now. Not, not being active in my past. I'm not active now. Um, besides work. Now I do, both of my jobs are very physical. I'm a nurse and I'm a hairstylist. So I do walk a lot. I'm on my feet all day, but somehow I'm not burning. I'm not doing any cardio, um, things like that. But however, this is it. This is Orchard Corset. Thank you guys for sharing. Please subscribe. It is free. Okay. And let's support each other. Um, and just support me, stay with me and let's try to get this weight loss off. Okay. Thank you. Have a great day. Hi, a PS. Okay, I might can't take it, put it on easy, but I can definitely get about this bad boy, okay? So first of all, the, the strings are doubled like this, and they're looped like this.
and you have to kind of like pull on them to make them tight. Um, they did also mention your back should be straight, the lacing. Okay, no in and out, in and out, none of that, or you're damaging your corset, okay? So keep your laces straight. Don't try to cinch them too much in one area and not in the other. That's, it's not good to do that, okay? So the strings are being so long, I wrapped them around myself in the front, tied it in the front. So now I'm untying it. And I can't, these little hooks are just like little bra strap kind of things. They go like this. <sighs> okay. So what I wanted to also share with you that, that no one told me before, when I want to be fancy or sexy, I tend to like to wear knee highs and fishnets, at least I used to. So I see here, I don't know if you guys can see this little tab. There's one, two, three, four, five, six. There's three on each side. So that lets me know that I can possibly hook some type of a garter belt, fishnet, knee-high kind of thing in there for you ladies that want to kind of like just wear it, you know, out in your house for whomever, okay? Or just even if you want to wear them under your clothes like you're supposed to and have a skirt with some knee highs or whatever, don't worry about not being able to hook them up. You can hook them up to this and then put your clothes on top of it. So I just wanted to point that out. I hadn't seen anybody point that out before and I was looking at it like, hmm, what's this? So there you go, Orchard Corset. See you later.